It's video you saw only on 7. Police say dash cameras were rolling as a man attacked a Warren police officer and then led a police chase, causing two crashes. Today, that driver faced a judge for the crimes. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell was the only reporter in the courtroom today. She joins us live from Warren. So, Kim, first things first, how's that officer doing at this hour? Jeff and Joanne, I spoke to Warren police a short time ago, and they told me that that officer threw out his back. He suffered muscle strains. He's expected to be on administrative leave until Monday. In the meantime, here at Warren District Court, as we learned more about the driver accused of hurting him, more questions came to mind. 25-year-old Michael Shamont Naylor from New Haven looked uncomfortable as he listened to his arraignment at Warren District Court from jail. His attorney says he's recovering after being shot twice by police. But when she talked to him, his own physical well-being wasn't the focus. He's asking questions. How was this officer? What has happened? He is very remorseful for all things that happened that day, and he wants to really move forward and put this behind him. Matt Naylor got into this mess after a police officer says he saw him running a stop sign, realized he had a suspended license, and moved to arrest him. Police say dash cam video shows Matt Naylor fight back, then drag the officer with his vehicle. He's accused of then leading a police chase that caused two crashes until police say they shot at him as he sped towards a police car. His attorney says she hopes he isn't judged on just those actions. And he's a college graduate. He graduated from a university in Florida. He graduated New Haven with a 3.4 GPA. He's 25 years old. He's a working young man. So why would someone with such potential have such poor judgment? Police say he had a felony drug warrant out of Florida, drugs in the car, and a suspended license. The prosecutor asked the judge to give him a high bond. Quite frankly, Your Honor, uh, the officer was lucky he was not seriously injured in this. He was able to stay on his feet and to go underneath the vehicle. Uh, Mr. Montnaylor put numerous people in jeopardy by fleeing the scene. But I, I think, quite frankly, he is a flight risk. Bond set the amount of $500,000 cash. Will you consider it 10%? Nope. Thank you, Judge. You heard the judge. If Mott Naylor wants out of jail, he has to post half a million dollars bond. It's unlikely he'll be able to do that. In the meantime, he faces numerous charges. Assault with a dangerous weapon, fleeing police, assaulting police, driving with a suspended license. He's going to face some legal troubles in his future. Reporting live in Warren, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Yeah, to say the least, Kim. Thank you.